Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. In this video, we're going to explore the erector spinae. The erector spinae are a group of muscles that sit on the back, and they're actually made up of a few different muscles. We have the iliocostalis that connects the ilium to the ribs. It's easy enough to remember because the ribs we would also call the costals. So we have iliocostalis attaches the ilium to the costals. We have the longissimus, which is, as you can probably tell by the name, the longest of the three. And then finally, spinalis, which is closest to the center of the body, so it's more medial. These muscles were one of the hardest to paint on our model here, because they basically have lots of different connection points in lots of areas. They essentially span the entirety of the spine. Their primary role, as indicated by their name, is to put the spine into extension and hyperextension. While their concentric action, though, is to create extension and hyperextension at the spine, they also play a key role with isometric contractions. They essentially stop us from falling forward into spinal flexion. We view this in exercises such as the deadlift. The erector spinae don't actually create any movement during a deadlift. However, what they do is contract isometrically to stop you falling into forward spinal flexion when you lift the weight. The actual movement of the deadlift comes from the hips, the knees, and a little bit from the ankle. The erector spinae can also create a little bit of rotation. It does this when it contracts unilaterally, meaning that one side will contract while the other doesn't. And this will pull the spine into rotation towards that side. The spine has many muscles in it. In fact, over 300 of our 650-ish muscles in the body sit on or influence the spine in some way. And then we have the showcase and movements of the erector spinae. So they will take us into extension and hyperextension and also into rotation. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. 